there, StarCraft fans. It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War. Not remastered. It's going to be cartooned here today on Outsider. It's going to be Mana versus Wolf. America versus Poland for you. Going to be a Terran player top side. He's our red Terran or blue Terran player. It's going to be Wolf. And on the south side, it's going to be Mana. Very, very fan favorite mana, dude. He was so good in Brood War and in StarCraft 2. He is retired now, but I figured I'd cast a game of his to remind you how good he was. Is Wolf? Maybe it's not the American player Wolf. Maybe it's a Polish player named Wolf. Hmm. Let's check it out here. Wolf Brood War. Wolf, Brood War, Starcraft. There's an American player. There's another wolf. Oh, hold on a second. I think this guy's Korean, though. Yeah, he's Korean. <laughs> okay, so the American wolf, a Korean wolf. Oh, on Earth. Ugh. All right, whatever. I don't know. Whoever this guy is, he's been... Looks like he's speaking Polish to Mana. Maybe he just knows some Polish phrases, and he's just trying to make Mana feel welcome in this match. I don't know, man. So this is Outsider. It's a good map for carriers versus Zerg. So I pretty much assume it's a good map for carriers against Protoss as well. So we will see if Mana is going to go carriers here against Wolf. We've got Logan watching with 12 APM. And this is the Carbot mod. You can purchase it uh, inside your StarCraft Remastered client. And at Battle.net. If you like Carbot, he's got a YouTube channel on... Uh, on YouTube. YouTube channel on YouTube. Yes, Redundancy Falcon. Good job. A little bit of some probe harass. There's a link to his YouTube channel in the description here. He likes Blizzard games. He's branched out to other games as well, including Elden Ring. Including, uh, what else? Diablo, which is a Blizzard game. Uh, World of Warcraft, which is a Blizzard game. Let's see, what else, what else? I know he does Elden Ring, because I like his Elden Ring content. Uh, Resident Evil? He's done some Resident Evil stuff in the Carbot style. Anyway, check him out. Subscribe to him. Watch a video. Because, man, he is so talented and so funny. Cybernetics Core coming up for expansion. Hard walling here is Wolf. Well, not hardwalling, because this marine can slip between. Factory coming up before expansion. Okay, so this is a respectful build from both of these players. And this probe is dead after scouting the factory. Steve the SCV here. Scouting. He sees this donut lighting up, so he knows that singularity charge is on the way. So, in the future here, we've got Vultures, we've got Siege Tanks, we've got Zealots, and Shuttles, and Observers, and maybe Corsair. Just because this map is so good for Sky Toss, right? Early starport. So we're going to drop some uh, vultures inside Mana's base, accompanied by some marines. Yes, yes. I do feel like that would be a good idea. Say something else, Wolf. Oh, man. Just don't get a message history because this is not a live game, it's a replay. Get back here, Steve the SCV. I don't have Singularity Charge, but I am a little bit faster than you, and pa -chow. Down goes Steve the SCV. Very, very sad. Sad indeed. Another Marine. Researching Spider Mines first at the Machine Shop. Okay. Observatory on the way to counter those Spider Mines. Oh, man. Marine Tank. Versus Singularity Charge Dragoons. Yeah, the Dragoons are like, ah, uh, we're outnumbered here. 
Oh, are we gonna push? Yes, we are. Control tower done, and a dropship on the way. Ah, marine down. Another marine down. This is good Dragoon Micro, but it's mana. What else do we expect from him other than good Dragoon Micro here? Ooh, this is... This is some effective stuff. Oh, but now there are spider mines up. Ugh, tried to kill it before it burrowed. He's trying to trigger it and kill it. But oh, it's tough to do when there's a siege tank firing at you at the same time, so... That was a good move. Good moves there by Wolf, getting that tank in there. So dropship finished up. Vultures in production. We've seen those already. And good. Nice. Mana showing off a little bit here. Triggering those mines and killing them before they kill your stuff is not easy. Not even close. Dropship just kind of hanging out here, intriguingly. Yo, did he take a hit there? He did not. Wow, I thought for sure that spider mine triggering would hurt. Simply did not hurt. More spider mines coming up. Vultures. Okay, got to be three vultures in that drop ship. Getting three vultures behind here would be nice. Three vultures back here would be really nice too. Dropships are slow, but they're reliable. We'll see if he can get there. There's a Stargate opening here. Pretty darn early. Should just be Arbiter, but definitely could just be two base Arbiter shenanigans. There's nothing too weird about that in this matchup. Engineering Bay coming in. We want some turrets and a second factory on the way. So, yeah, this is an older replay. I want to say this is a 2008 replay or so. Why are you unloading here? Wait, wait, wait. Does this give you access? I can't remember. Is there just a ramp? There is just a ramp back here. Totally gives you access. There are two Dragoons. Oh, man. Waiting for this to happen. And here they go. Reaction time on the Dragoons is not great. And several probes are going down. No shots on the Dragoons, guys. Only shots on the probes. You're not killing the Dragoon so I Go after the guaranteed damage, which is going to be these probes. And bam! Now it is a worker lead for the Terran player. Not bad. Three kills on this Vulture, who's still alive. He gets a fourth kill. Why are the Dragoons not killing him? Okay, got it. Now it's 30 to 27 workers. Dragoons try to get up this ramp, but then there were siege tanks. So that wasn't great by mana. I'm, you know, Wolf is doing okay here. Gotta say, feeling good if you're a Terran fan in this game. You're like, okay, man is an incredible Protoss player. I don't know how Wolf's gonna survive this. Maybe you clicked on this assuming a Terran loss, but you like Carbot or you like Falcon and you're just here anyway. Either way, now this is tough. This is a good, good opening from the Terran player. He's on, he's got a second base here. He's got enough tanks to cover it, I think. Might as well, yeah, might as well lift and land now. What I always say, more vultures being added in because the ones that uh, got dropped in there are dead now. Oh my gosh, it is a Corsair. Remember when I was like, maybe we'll see Corsairs in this game because it's so good for Sky Toss. We totally got a Corsair. We're going to get Disruption Web, too. We have to. Corsairs just don't have any value unless you give them Disruption Web in this matchup. Good against Zerg, yes. Not good against Terran. There's no real flying stuff to counter at this point, dude. Unless they're built. There's the Fleet Beacon. Oh. I did not expect this game to have Disruption Web. Again, it's Outsider. So there was a certain part of me that said, you know, I wouldn't be too surprised if that was the case. And here we go. Let's rock. Man. Disruption web in a Carbot game. Nah, man. That's too much. More supply depots from Wolf. A little bit almost supply block. Mana is technically supply blocked. But does have three pylons in production here. So nothing to worry about on that side of things. Where's your third base? Over here, I guess. It's the spawn location for the third player. This is the three player map. It's fine to take your base here. I don't have a problem with it. Probe down here, too, though. Maybe you want to expand. I don't know. Expanding here lets you kind of wall this off against vultures, and then you're good to go, you know? But mm, presence of dropship means... How about it doesn't matter if there's a wall? Yeah. Ooh, that's definitely spotted by mana. Mana sees that. It says, oh, a drop... Oh, you know what's really good against dropships, actually? is Corsairs. Okay. So, I mean, this is way too many Corsairs just to, like, try to counter <laughs> dropships. But it'll do in a pinch, without a doubt. I love the revolver coming out of the fleet beacon there. 
And the telescope here on the observatory. I just like the art of Carbot. It's good. It's really nice. There's no dude in the missile turret, though. That's kind of sad. Where is that dropship? Yeah, dropship thought about poking in here. There were Dragoons ready for it, and there were Corsairs behind it, so that's not really happening, is it? Column sat. Does not reveal anything too crazy going on. Does not reveal the presence of the fleet beacon. There's your disruption web coming through the production tab like an absolute boss. Oh, gonna try to high ground siege tank here, but no. Not with that many dragoons on both sides. And uh, no real room to hide the tanks either from that position. So man is just like, no, 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 no. This is not happening. The tanks setting up over here would have been better. There are no Dragoons to cover this. They could get over there pretty quickly, but that would hurt. Taking some Siege Tank shots to your Nexus as it's warping in is not ideal. This seems like a third Basin SCV to me. And it is. Third base coming up. That's Minerals only. And it can gain access over ground to your main base in a back door. So you got to watch out for that. Like This map is weird, but it's very fun. Yep, Argus Jewel. And I don't say Argus Jewel very much, but that's 50 Corsair Energy. <laughs> Not sure if that man has done a great job keeping this tank count low today. I am concerned about that. Thinks about dropping in here. This seems like a really bad idea, but uh, he gets two tanks, gets some spider mines down, and the spider- what? I don't know if the spider mines actually connected there or not. Siege tanks going after probes, a little bit, kind of guaranteed damage, 46 to 45 workers in favor of the Terra now, that's nice. But this third base is helping a lot when you have 45 workers, as opposed to the two bases when you have 46 workers. The effectiveness is much better right now for mana based on this third base that he's got rolling. So. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about this. What I am excited to see is the attempt of using disruption web on these siege tanks, which are stationary and therefore good targets for uh, disruption web. And by stationary, I mean they're going to be stationary soon. Not right now. You don't want to disruption web them now, but when they're sieged up. Absolutely, yes. 133 to 116 supply, but a lot of the supplies in Corsairs. Wolf, I don't know. I'm not sure if Wolf is going to sniff this out until the first disruption web hits him. He's been scanning, right? But he has not successfully scanned where these Corsairs are. He's building them on the edge. He's keeping them over here. It's a weird place to scan. Wolter guys on their bikes with their goggles in. And here come the Corsairs as the siege up happens! The disruption web across the board here, and the siege tanks are sitting ducks. Oh, meta! Non standard play from him. And the tanks just sit. In. Okay, these. Nope, they come out of disruption web and. Im okay, is that just GG? Like, I don't. <laughs> If that was me, I just GG. I'm like, oh, okay. That could not have gone more poorly for me. It's a little spider mine shenanigans trying to get into this natural base of mana. Okay, this is going all right for Wolf. If he's going to get back into this game, this has to be something he's doing right now. Dude, these spider mines. Ugh, Dragoons are going down. Probe count, once again, lower than the SCV count. But the vultures all died. They were YOLO vultures, and that's okay. That's how you reset a tank count, though. That is. That's how you reset a tank count. He just scanned this left side base, and he's crew. Oh, gosh. Some of these probes are running. Dude, just build a... Dude, there's like two cannons here. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, Wolf's back in this game. Remember when I was like, what could possibly happen for Wolf to get back in this game? He just lost everything, and this is it. Taking Mana's worker count down to 35 at 15 minutes. Mana says, screw that. Let's let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's toss up the disruption webs on these tanks. There's another tank to disruption web. Man, seeing Carbot disruption web animations is 
Not something we've seen very much. I want to... Oh, you know what's crazy is... I want to say, of the two games, maybe three or four total games I've ever cast using Disruption Web in this matchup, two of them are Carbot. Okay, Goliaths trying to fire away at these Corsairs. Kill them, kill them good. The natural base of the turn is Toast. That is a dead third base. Man is like, okay, yeah, you killed my probes at my third, but I killed your entire second base. How do you like them apples? He's up with 99 to 75 supply. Can we, oh, look at that vulture spazzing out. Can we even hold this? Would be the question of the day here for Terran fans. Wolf is like, must hold top of the ramp. Dragoons missing shots as they shoot uphill. Maybe is our saving grace here. The other saving grace is that this third base of Wolf lives. But he just lost a ton of SCVs and it's 37 workers for him. Uh, can these vultures murder this nexus before the end of times? There are some probes up here that are not contributing to mana's income at the moment. Man is taking a new third base down the left side, and by third base, I mean he might actually save this. We just no! We're just walking through spider mines! Ooh, okay, that was sloppy. Oh! Where are your obs? Why are you not bringing obs, mana? This has been a crazy game. Yeah, and he's making a carrier. There we go. That's the spirit. Gotta make a carrier. And just scan down here and saw that there's nothing stopping it from unloading tanks in this position. Oh my gosh, these probes though. Man, uh, it is a probe and SCV massacre of a game. Man is coming off the ramp again. Another disruption web gets tossed down. Are we out of Corsairs though? I think that might be it for Corsairs. Man has not exactly been taking care of them. Dude, these tanks, five kills, six kills. Five kills each. Worker count, 27 for mana. And six of those are not mining right now. Mana's in a ton of trouble. He's given some serious economic damage to the Terran player. Terran's getting a new third base down this right side. Minerals only, but by golly. S uh, Dragoon setting up behind here or behind here is just damaging. And these guys did wipe out the Nexus. It took them a while, but by golly, they got there. This, this is nuts. I cannot believe that two of like the four games I've ever cast with disruption webs against Terran have been in Carbot. Mana trying to take this battle. No. Overextended a little bit there. That command center landed on that Dragoon. I've always said command centers landing on units should kill them. It's ridiculous that like a 27 ton command center is prevented from landing by a Zergling, or a Dragoon, or even like an Ultralisk. Come on, give me a break. The command Center can crush that thing easy. Oh, he's glitching. He's glitching probes. Uh-oh. Uh, you better glitch faster, mana. The Vulture found you. Never mind, there is no escape. There is just death. This probe made it through, though. Maybe he could throw up a base here and get away with it. Is that a scan, though? That is a scan. Sees the Dragoon, sees the Zealots coming through. No upgrades for mana, by the way. A lot of his money went into Corsairs and uh, Disruption Web and Argus Jewel and stuff. Plus one attack for the mech here. So better upgrades for Wolf. He's up 133 to 95 supply. Dude, Wolf. This game is crazy good. It is back and forth. I just yanked this out of a mana folder I've had on my computer since like 2016. And it's an amazing game! Okay, this was curated by somebody on Team Liquid, so it's not bad. Exactly, the carriers have to make their arrival and their appearance here. But we've been making Goliaths because we're worried about Corsairs, sir. Yeah, scanning up that high ground, getting... get out of here. I think Mana might just be dead, friends. I think this might be it. I really do. This base sneaking up is maybe a saving grace for him. But his natural base is dead. His main base is effectively mined out. This is minerals and it's good. But he really needs some gas to counter all this. You're not, zealots aren't gonna do the job, right? You need Dragoons, you need Carriers. You need High Templar maybe. But none of those things are very cheap on the gas and it's gonna be a problem. There's a Wraith, okay. Okay. Is Wolf going Cloak Wraith in response to these Carriers? I must know. Ugh. This game getting an epic tag? Air weapons upgrade? It is. It's cloaking 
field for Wraiths. Wolf has retaken his natural. Wolf is up economically in a big way. He's trying to build a million turrets to protect this base from these carriers, but he's a little bit late on that. How many turrets will come up before the carriers wipe this base out? How many turrets come? Okay, one turret up. Two turrets, three. Okay, okay, this is kind of working. Sort of working here. Many turrets are up. Some turrets died, but enough, maybe. Enough. Bring the command center back, Wolf. Bring it back. It's fine. Wait, did you build a turret? Bring the, bring it back. Wolf. Is he trying to expand here? No, he's trying to drop on. Mana refuses to invest in defense on. Look at this setup. Siege tanks here, vultures here. Just. <laughs> okay, so look, the dragoons are helping these guys evac. That's nice. But siege tanks firing on this nexus is such a huge problem. Bring. Where did the. Where is it going? Come back, command center! This is a fine base now, it's safe again! Oh. Can they? No, they can't get the Nexus, but it's only at 300 HP and it's very vulnerable and it's extremely on fire. Vulture's trying to wipe it out. No, guys, you don't do that great against buildings. You do fine against shields because everything does fine against shields, but once the shields are gone, no. Air weapons, plus two, I think that is for the Protoss. No, well, it's going to be plus one for him. Is almost finishing up here. Dude, the Wraiths, though. The Wraiths, he scanned this base. Might as well drop over here. You have any more drop capabilities? The drop ships all die? Nope. Dude, I I mean, great map for Sky Toss. Also great map for drops. Wolf is taking advantage of that too. Outsider is such a great map. I cast an incredible Artosis versus Day 9 match on this map not long ago. That was sick. Once again, the vultures on the backside, the siege tanks. Well, siege tanks on the backside, vultures on the front side. Okay, drop over here again. Multiple location drops need to be happening right now, Wolf. Oh my gosh, the cloaked wraiths are hunting. Do you have an observer with this army? I don't know that you do. There's the obs. The obs is coming in, but... Oh my gosh, is he going to kill any of these carriers before all of us? Nope. He really should have pulled back there once it was clear there was an observer present. This carrier almost died. Uh, Wolf throwing away those wraiths. Just put mana back in the lead, possibly. He invested a lot into those wraiths, and they killed nothing. Look, he's got this base. This base is mined out. This base... Okay, but seriously, land the command... You can't? Is there a turret in the way? This game, y'all... Only man, further upgrades for Wolf would be great. I know that zero upgrades to the ground units for mana right now, but seriously. All right, setting up. Hybrid Sky Toss is here. Mana doesn't like it. Pull out a range of the Siege Tanks. The Dragoons can't die for nothing, he says. Holy schnecktedies. This game is... Okay, carrier sniped. They got one. They got two, actually. Unless another one's hiding down here. Okay, carrier micro for mana. Pretty good. Taking some serious body shots there, though. The natural base never came back from mana. It's probably worth taking back, but it's also pretty easily accessible to this Terran army as a larger problem. Just scan this base again. This base from mana is a godsend. It is... It's, it's a blessing. <laughs> I cannot believe that he's been allowed to get away with that. Without that base, he'd be dead. He would. He'd be ultimately extremely dead right now if not for that base. Vultures, don't get dragged into this mess. There you go. Okay, or we are going to get dragged into this mess. Spider mines, go. Yeah, spider mines. The dragoons are like, no! Get out, get out. We can't trigger the spider mines on these probes. There we go. Carriers have to show up again to save the day because that's what they do. They show up to save the day. It's 46 to 29 workers, though, in favor of Wolf. Not good. SCV managed to make it over here. Scouted this base. Vultures are shutting this down. The gas mining is still happening. 
And mana losing that mineral income is bad for him. He's mining here. He's mining here. 150 to 105 supply is not where you want to be if you're fighting against the Mecking Terran. With, again, plus one attack, more upgrades for Wolf would be so good. But that's what we get sometimes when I cast these not Korean replays from 25 years ago, right? Is this stuff occurs where maybe the upgrades aren't perfect, maybe the micro's not great, maybe we get some weird decisions. So that's fun, we like weird decisions. These vultures are going to kill this Nexus. There is nothing for mana within a light year of that base. I was gonna say a metric light year, but that doesn't make any sense at all. Probably communicate my point fine though, and what else is English and language if not communicating the point? All right, I just think mana's dead, I really do. There's so many siege tanks. Yeah, the Dragoons can't get close enough to do anything about this, and the carrier count's not high enough to deal with this many Goliaths. I really don't think so. Look at the Goliaths stepping forward. The Dragoons are like, yeah, man, step forward. We'll fight you. And that's it. Good game. Well played. Mana taps out. And <laughs> Wolf gets the win. What a match. What an absolutely... Crazy, crazy, crazy good match that was. And Wolf takes down Mana. It's an upset. Right? It's an upset. It's a weird game featuring disruption web usage against Terran, which was incredibly effective early on. But once the Goliaths started getting made, it was less effective, right? And especially because the Corsairs kind of just died Mana maybe babysat them a little bit better, kept them alive for future fights. It maybe would have gone better for him. But man, great drops from Wolf. I mean, they're not the best drops I've ever seen, but they were pretty consistent. They were pretty effective. Vultures wiped out two Nexuses today, which is just mind-blowing. That should not be allowed to happen, but it's Outsider. Anything goes on Outsider. You get carriers against Zerg on this map. Anything can be done. Further upgrades would have been nice, but yeah. This natural base dying, the constant harassment of these bases, this base not allowed to happen, this base dying, while Wolf retakes his natural, takes this space, takes this space, defends it uh, against the carriers, well done there. And just kind of rode that to victory, just had enough money to keep going. And yeah, when it's 163 to 95 supply in favor of a Terran player at 26 minutes, you're probably not winning that one as Protoss. Probably not, unless, you know, unless you're 95 supplies in carriers and all of the Terran supplies in tanks and bolters, sure. Maybe you can win, but not where you've revealed your carriers a long time ago and the Terran has the answer to those and bada bing, bada boom. Way to go, Wolf. Again, whoever this is, GG, man. Um, he had uh, 195 APM, so I mean, really solid player. Uh, AFF, that might give us a hint as to where he's from. But yeah, 130,000, 127,000 points here. Wolf outproduced the Protoss and got out killed by the Protoss by a narrower margin. Structures. Uh, out constructing here is Wolf. Out raising a little bit too. And then resources are just way too close. 37,000 apiece? You're not going to beat a Terran player as Protoss in that situation. Not even. No, 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 no. Simply no. All right, that was a just, mm, that was such a good PVT. I honestly thought for sure, for sure, that Mana was just going to roll this game. When the Corsairs popped in, surprise, disruption web, all your tanks are disabled. And all of the tanks died, and Mana wiped that entire Terran army out without really breaking a sweat. And then he pushed up, killed the natural base of the Terran, and I was like, GG. That's it. That's all there is to it, man. No. Wolf fought back, using drops, teching into the right stuff, expanding, harassing, keeping active, using all of his 195 APM like an absolute boss, and he gets the win. Sick, sick, sick game. Fun Carbot game, too. But it's over now, and that's going to be it for me. So, this has been Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Cartoon. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. 
You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. <laughs>